Good morning guys, welcome back to the daily vlogs in Hawaii. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A video yesterday. I hope it wasn't too long and you're able to watch most of it and see your question be answered. But this morning we're up pretty early because we're going down to have breakfast and then we're actually going out on a whale watching and turtle snorkeling tour this morning with the hotel. Yeah, so I'm super excited for that. Apparently there's this cool little octopus that they bring you to that like swims up and you can play with it. It's like their local pet. That's what they're saying, so maybe we're gonna get to see that. We're gonna bring our GoPro and we're gonna film as much as we can and then I'm gonna put clips in here for you guys to see. But I wanted to show you guys this morning, the view is a little bit different than usual and I'll show you why. This morning, you get the nice view, but then, instead of the sun, you get the moon. <laughs> it's still pretty early in the morning, so you can still see the moon up there. But uh, it should be going down very soon, because the sun's coming up behind us. But it makes for a different, sort of interesting view over here. Pretty cool. So that's what we're up to to start the day today. Um, so I'll show you guys a little bit about breakfast, and then we'll go for the snorkeling and whale watching tour. We made it down for breakfast and the moon is still out. It's so weird. I've never like been out in the morning for breakfast with the moon in the sky instead of the sun. It's kind of like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like Star Wars or any of those kind of movies where like in the background horizon of some of the planets they have like multiple moons or planets. That's what I feel like right now because the moon is out instead of the sun. It's weird. It's just over the tree right there. It's not focusing real because of the screen that's here but you could see it over the tree. It's so strange. I made like a picture perfect fruit medley on my plate this morning. <laughs> I already ate my eggs and rice, but this is just so cute, I find. It's so cute. I was a little OCD this morning. I took two of everything. Two strawberry, two cantaloupe, oh my God. two honeydew, and two pineapple, and then some blueberries. And then of course I took one of their delicious waffles. This is the best waffle I've ever had. And every day it has different toppings on it. It's gluten free. And it's gluten free. Guys, this is it. We're heading down now for the turtle and whale watching little snorkel and boat tour. So we're gonna get some GoPro footage. I'm gonna probably make a little compilation and throw it in uh, after I film this. So hopefully I get some good footage for you guys, but we'll see you in a bit. Hope you enjoyed that little compilation of our snorkeling tour this morning. We had a lot of fun. We saw a lot of cool animals like octopus and some eels and everything. It was really, really fun. Got really cold at the end though. I didn't know the water here was so cold, but after snorkeling for like almost two hours, I was freezing and I was like shivering, shivering, shivering. So then we got out, we just came and sat by the pool and we sat down and had some lunch and we've just been like lying in the sun ever since. I've been much smarter now. I sort of go in the water to cool off, I get out, I dry off with a towel, I put on sunscreen, then I lie down in the sun. Then after like, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, I'll do that again, I'll go back in the pool, sort of cool off, back out, dry off, more sunscreen. And I've just been re repeating that for like the last two, three hours, just trying to relax. But what's really cool, and I'm gonna show you guys right now, is if you're not from the state, well right now the American American football is having their semifinals, and there's Alex swimming in the pool right now. But the American Football League, uh, the NFL, is having their playoffs right now, and all these people sitting by the bar here are all watching the TVs, cheering and screaming whenever a big play happens. It's so funny. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is I'm gonna hop in the water and I'm gonna go sit over by the pool on that side and just sort of lie on the edge and watch the last like three, four minutes of the game. But Alex is just having fun swimming right now, so I'll show you guys that first. She's doing the same thing as me too. She just goes in, cools off, gets out, lies in the sun for a bit, goes back in, cools off, gets out. It's good that way because the sun's really hot today and there's not much wind. Right now the two cities that are playing is Denver, Colorado, and then New England, which is basically Boston. And uh, I think the score right now is 20 to 12 for Denver. 
So I'm not sure how it's gonna end. It's pretty close. And if you don't watch American football, the way the scoring works is it can be a little bit interesting. Uh, so they'll have to catch up a little bit. One of our good friends back home is, is a huge Denver fan, so I guess I'm kind of cheering for Denver. Shout out to Catherine, hi. But they all just started clapping, so I'm gonna go over now before I miss the last few minutes. What's up guys, so we just got back upstairs after being at the pool all afternoon and we both got a lot of color today. A lot of sun, not too much of a burn though because we were being smart about our sunscreen and going in and out of the pool like I said. So not too much of a burn, but we got a lot, a lot of sun today. There's almost no clouds, no wind, so it's just very, very, very hot, which was nice because it's one of our last days here at the resort. So it was nice to just relax and sit by the pool and do all that kind of stuff. But right now we have to go out of our room for a little bit because the timing with the maids, we came up right as they were about to clean it. So we're just going to head out, probably just go for a walk or something and then let the maids clean our room and then we'll come back and we'll just relax for a bit before going down to enjoy the sunset. Take a look at the color difference of our feet. My feet, ever since I went to Mexico two years ago, never tan, they just stay white. My toes are white. So like my shins and stuff and my knees, they tan, but like... Look how dark my legs are. My feet don't, <laughs> Alex's legs are really dark. <laughs> My uh, face just stays white because it just never tans. I don't understand why. <laughs> Look at this cool bird, guys. I'm gonna see if I can get closer. Does anybody know what kind of bird that is? Is that like a crane? Hello. You're very cute. Very cute. All right, see you later. Bye. So we just stopped by at this little oceanfront snack bar. I think it's called Whale's Tail. I got a nice green juice. It's like apple, kale, spinach, a whole bunch of things. Parsley, I think. There's a whole bunch of things in there. It's really, really good. And then Alex got a, what was it called again? Paradise Island or something? Paradise Island smoothie, something like that. Looks There's really like good. Mango, pineapple. I think it was mango, pineapple, and like passion fruit. Yeah, looks really good. But then I also ordered some tacos, uh, just a snack on. I'm a little bit hungry, so we're just gonna sit here in the shade right by the ocean. So here's the tacos that I got, guys. Nice fresh fish again. Some cheese, looks really good. It's like some pickled, looks like onion or tomato or something. Looks really good. Then a mango salsa and looks like some sort of a spicy sauce on it. We found this cute little spot right here, guys, right near where we stopped. It's a really nice area actually, so we took a few pictures here. Very cute. It's like short and cute. Yeah. And then Dan found some like weird creature. Something something went in the rock right there, like in the hole. I don't know if you could see like the cave. I don't know what it was. It was either like a crab or a... Hey cutie. If you wanna walk by here, this area, you have to give me a pet. <laughs> Hi, you are a beautiful cat. Look at you. Oh, Trisha you're would very love this cat. soft. Trisha likes ginger cats. Look at you. But you need to be a little bit fatter. Yes. Because she likes fat ginger cats. Oh, you're so His cute. His ears cut. I know. Hi. And she's got a tattoo on the inside of her other ear, if you guys can see. Oh, she's really cute. It's because they're population controlled, so they're wild, but they're they're neutered, like that woman told us a few days ago. So it doesn't let the population get out of control. Oh my golly. Oh, she's really cute. She's loving it. Yeah. Double pets now. Oh, yeah. She's like, oh my god, don't oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if this is the same bird as before. Oh, he's chasing people. <laughs> oh no, he's getting food somewhere. He probably sees a bug. Get it! Get it, bird! Get it! It's cool that that is related to a dinosaur. I know. Well, look at its feet. That's like the descendant of a dinosaur. That's cool. The grass is so squishy. I know. It's dancing. So guys, what we gotta do right now is pack our bags to get ready because tomorrow morning we're leaving to go to Oahu for three days. So that's another one of the islands in Hawaii. We noticed on the way here though that Alex's bag was like way heavier than mine. She had so much stuff in it and I had a lot of room left in my bag. So we're gonna try to like evenly pack our bags this time and make it like, like more split. Because like normally when it's really heavy like that, this happens to me in London as well, but like you have to um, pay a fee. Yeah. It's like over 50 pounds. Or was it over... It's 50 pounds, I think. Normally you have to pay a fee, but we were sitting in first class, so you're allowed two bags. We're on a small plane now going from... Yeah, so we're gonna have to make it even. Yeah, because you can't go over 50 pounds. Guys, we're all packed. The room looks so clean now compared to before. So I got everything in my bag, plus a bunch of Alex's stuff, like some of her dirty clothes and some of her fresh clothes for pictures and stuff like that. And then her bag, she's still got lots of room, but that's good. She's got some stuff out here on the bed still. So. We'll put those in. So I think now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down just to enjoy the sunset. This is our last one here in Maui. So we're gonna go head down to the beach, just walk around and, and just sort of watch the sun go down. And then we'll figure out our dinner plans. Either gonna be a restaurant or room service. We're not too sure what we're gonna do yet. Last night guys, and again it's gorgeous. No clouds today, beautiful waves, but out far the ocean's just shining and reflecting in the sun. Let me show you, look at this. 
beautiful view. It's a gorgeous sunset. Looks really nice tonight, Alex. Yeah. The tide's coming in pretty high up here. Uh oh, there comes another one. It's getting a little further and further each time. Maybe maybe 15 more minutes before the sun goes down. If I stand right here, are the waves gonna come close to my feet? Let's see. Oh, pretty close. Oh, here comes a big one. Is it gonna reach my toes? Oh, not quite. Oh, here comes an even bigger one. Uh, yeah. Got it. It'd be really cool to see like a time lapse of the tide coming in and just seeing like minute by minute, hour by hour getting higher and higher. Because right now you don't really notice the difference, but every now and then there's like a wave that just comes sweeping up the beach. Let's see if the wave will erase my footprint. Oh. Gone. That's pretty cool. Very, very close to setting now. It's so orange. I'm gonna try to zoom in here and see if you guys can get this. It's pink on camera. Actually, it's pink in real life. It's orange in camera. Oh, look at that. Let's keep going. It's going to be very shaky, but I'm going to try not to move. Hopefully this isn't blind anybody. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's actually focusing pretty good, too. Wow. That's really cool. Oh my god, I move like the smallest amount and the screen goes crazy. So here's our dinner for tonight, guys. I got a awesome fennel sausage pizza. Really, really tasty. I had it a few days ago. Some waffle fries on the side. Alex got a nice grilled cheese on gluten-free bread. And then we got a nice big fruit platter to share. Really, really tasty. And then we're watching Remember the Titans, if you guys have ever seen it. Because today when I was watching the American football games on the TV at the pool downstairs, it just made me really think about this movie for some reason. It's like, um, it's an old Disney movie about American football and like... Yeah, because European football is not... Yeah, it's not about like European football, what we call soccer. This is about like American football. It's just a really good movie and I haven't seen it in years and years and years and years. I used to watch it with my friends when I was like an early teenager and I really like it. So we thought, hey, why not watch it tonight? Yeah, it's so good. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna end the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below so you can catch every single video every single day in your subscription box. Before we go, I'm gonna send out a little challenge to you guys, a little challenge of positivity to try to spread it around as much as we can. So what I want you to do today is I want you to say thank you to five different people who have done something nice to you recently. It doesn't have to be something they did today, but if you remember something that someone did for you recently, and it can be anything, but anything nice that you appreciated, anything that person did for you, and you appreciate it, and you're grateful for it, and you're thankful for it, make sure you go and take the time to say thank you to them, okay? So I'm challenging you guys to go and find five different people and say thank you to them, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.